Greetings to those on the road to mastery. Say hello to Ormar. Nearly invincible in small group battles and one of the tankiest of warriors. He can both charge into team fights and also protect squishy allies from stopping enemy assassins in their tracks through his damage and control. One of his greatest strengths is his ability to control the battlefield. Three of his abilities, including his passive, all have stun effects with three of his abilities also having interrupt effects. Ormar is relatively strong mid-game and can help his team win small skirmishes, wins, and one-on-one -on -one kills to keep his team higher on experience and gold for an eventual full victory. Let them feel your relentless control. The first half of the Road to Mastery contains basic tips. If you are only interested in the advanced aspects of Ormar, feel free to skip ahead to the second half. Learning the Basics Recommendation for Ability Level Up First learn Ability 1, Unstoppable, to give Ormar more mobility, so he can use it to escape a potential gang at the beginning. Since leveling Ability 1 reduces its cooldown and increases its damage, while leveling Ability 2 only increases its damage, always keep Ability 1 leveled up, then Ability 2, Swagger. Level up his ultimate, Walking Tall, whenever available. Ability Analysis Passive, Gut Punch With Gut Punch, each one of his normal attacks has a chance to stun and deal additional damage, so get in there and hit them. Don't forget that passive ability triggered effects have a natural cooldown of 4 seconds, so use this to your advantage with his other abilities. First ability, Unstoppable. Please note that enhanced normal attack abilities such as this one have a time expiration after initial use so make sure you get your hit off as quickly as possible after activating Unstoppable. Second ability, Swagger. Using Swagger in combination with Unstoppable and his passive Gut Punch can create a continuous control effect on enemies. Since Swagger helps you build stacks of fighting spirit, allowing your Gut Punch to trigger more often, make sure you actually use Swagger when enemies are within range. Otherwise, it'll be wasted. Ultimate, Walking Tall. Ormar's Ultimate, Walking Tall, can be used while running and will continue to go with his movement. This is particularly good when using it against enemies when they're bunched up. Using this in combination with Unstoppable and Swagger, it's easier to trigger Gut Punch for stuns. The longer Ormar gets hits off with Walking Tall, the easier it is to trigger stuns. Combo Tips First, open with Unstoppable to charge in. Get your enhanced normal attack off, followed by a normal attack. Then use Swagger to help trigger Gut Punch. Since the enemy is stunned at this point, you can then use his ultimate to get in more damage. The sequence goes like this. Unstoppable to his enhanced normal attack, to another normal attack, to Swagger, to his ultimate. If you want consistent control, you must gain stacks of Fighting Spirit through Swagger, then trigger his Gut Punch, then use Swagger again. Recommended talents for newer players, Heal and Daze. If you're an offensive player, using Daze greatly aids him in getting kills. If you're more defensive, Using heal well can get you out of bad situations more often. Advanced Players Execute For advanced players, use Execute. 
Though Ormar has a ton of control, he doesn't have any effective skills to finish off enemies. So use this to help him get the kill. This also goes well with his mid-game presence, when you'll mostly be in a small group fighting and ganking one-on-one. -on -one. Level 2 Arcana recommendations Pummel, Alacrity, and Serenity. Level 3 Arcana recommendations Indomitable, Benevolence, and Valiance. Item recommendations Gilded Greaves or Sonic Boots Mantle of Raw Asterion's Buckler Mail of Pain Gaia's Standard Shield of the Lost Matchups Ormar has high defense and control, so he can take out most assassins easily like Butterfly and also squishy low mobility heroes such as Yorn. With his control, he's especially good at shutting down mages with abilities that deal constant damage over time such as Diochan and Gilder. Ormar is weak against heroes that can kite others easily through high mobility such as Violet and also weak against heroes that can remove control effects like Chognar. When facing Chognar, get him to use his ultimate first before dumping your abilities on him. Laning Tips Early Game Laning Before anyone gets their ultimates, Ormar is especially strong with the control from his passive and active abilities. But since he has no effective way of chasing down enemies to finish them off, it's better to work together with the jungler to gank opponents from the jungle and roam. If Ormar is soloing a lane, use Unstoppable and Swagger to help him clear out minion waves. Don't waste too much of his health getting into fights. If the jungle attempts to gank him, use first ability to get back to the tower safely. If Ormar duos a lane with a marksman, use Ormar's control and the marksman's damage to harass the enemy. If Ormar catches one of them off guard, the marksman will have an easy time getting kills. After reaching level 4, once Ormar reaches level 4, he'll have access to his ultimate. You can now start roaming. Keep paying attention to the mini-map and look for opportunities to gank. Get the jungler or someone else to roam with you. Roaming together will increase your chances of getting killed significantly. If Ormar runs into an enemy hero and fights one-on-one, -on -one, he most likely won't get the kill and in turn get ganked by the enemy team. Mid-game By the mid-game, Ormar should have enough control and damage to get into team fights. Work with your team to push down towers and do your best not to fight alone. Controlling others and taking damage is what he does best. If you're underleveled or didn't earn enough gold, focus more on purchasing defensive items. Avoid unnecessary battles and use his abilities to escape bad situations. Late game. Ormar will be weaker later in the game, as pure tanks will have an advantage over him. Don't rush into the enemy team alone, as you'll be easily killed. In team fights, you'll still want to open with Unstoppable. Get in your enhanced normal attack. Use Swagger, followed by your ultimate. Make sure you use your control abilities on their highest damage output heroes. Otherwise, even if you control their tank, their marksman, assassin, and mage will still destroy you. Advanced Gameplay Advanced Item Guide For advanced players, we highly recommend you manually purchase from the shop based on the enemy team's composition. For the first item, if they have more physical damage based heroes, choose Sonic Boots. If they have more magic damage based heroes, then choose Gilded Greaves. For the second item, all choices have pros and cons and it mostly depends on how your team is doing in relation to theirs. Get Spear of Longinus if you have an advantage over the enemy, as its passive will help Ormar and allies snowball even more. If the enemy team is in a superior position or it's unclear, 
get more defensive items, such as the Aegis, as its passive goes well with Ormar, especially in protracted small group battles where he can get even more gut punch triggers and control effects off. For the third item, at this stage, the enemy mage is usually at its most powerful, so you'll want to ensure they can't get any kills off. Gaia's standard will get you more health and magic defense, which will help shut down their mage in group fights. For the fourth item, the item you'll choose is mostly based on what Ormar's role is at this point. If you duoed bottom lane acting in more of a tank or supporting role, get Asterion's Buckler. Always prioritize items that grant team buffs. Asterion's Buckler is particularly good since it both increases his own defense and both allies' defense and damage output. If you went solo, get Hercules Madness. Its passive will significantly help Ormar get in kills in one versus one and small group battles to gain the upper hand to snowball before his weaker late game. For the fifth item, based on the enemy team's most powerful hero, get an item to counter their strength. If their best hero is a physical damage hero, get Shield of the Lost. Its passive will significantly reduce their best hero's damage output while further increasing Ormar's defense. This, when paired with the Aegis, creates an even more effective shutdown of enemy physical damage output. If their most powerful hero is a mage, then get the Medallion of Troy. For the last item, get Ancestral Glory. Its resurrection passive makes Ormar even more effective over a long fight, making this one of the most important items you could get. Advanced Arcana Guide. Since Ormar is tanky, warrior with strong control, get things that help him both sustain deal damage and allow him to get in as many ability uses as possible meaning. Focus on getting Ormar more health first, cooldown reduction second followed by damage. Get Indomitable, Benevolence and Valiance. Advanced Combo Tips Using Ormar's skills effectively will make you a monster on the battlefield. Here are some tips to becoming a monster. For Ormar's passive, Gut Punch, though it has a built-in cooldown of 4 seconds, this cooldown only counts on the same target. So if you get a Gut Punch off on one target, you'd have 4 seconds before it would be activated on that target again, but you could switch targets to get another Gut Punch off instead. In team fights, save one of his control abilities to interrupt potential channeling spells like Diochan's ultimate or an enemy with high output to help prevent damage dealt to your team. Ormar's ult lasts for 3.7 seconds, so after you use Unstoppable and Swagger, wait one second before using his ultimate so you can get more passive stuns off since all passive triggers have a cooldown of 4 seconds. When Ormar is in the enemy side of the map, save Unstoppable just in case you need to escape. Please note, Unstoppable can pass over small barriers and walls, so it can be a great escape tool. Advanced Laning Tips When doing bottom lane, help your marksman get the Might buff. Take Unstoppable as his first ability, then signal to your marksman to steal the Sage buff from an enemy jungle. Work with the marksman to destroy the first tower as quickly as possible before beginning to roam. If you're afraid of getting caught, hide in the brush. If they find you, use your abilities to escape. Since Ormar is strongest in the mid game, use this to your advantage by beating the enemy in small group fights as this will help Ormar snowball. If your team is losing at this stage, then focus on clearing minion waves and protecting allies instead. Ormar isn't a particularly mobile hero, so don't overextend when laning alone, as it can be difficult for him to escape. Later on, Ormar plays more of a tank and support role, so make sure you protect your carry and continue to not overextend. 
In large team battles, focus on controlling their enemy carry while protecting your own. Pay attention to what the enemy team is focusing on and react accordingly. Effective use of this control, tankiness and damage will ensure victory for your team. Thanks for watching. See you next time in Arena of Valor's Road to Mastery.